G'day guys, it's Billy here from Dombey on West Australia. Well guys, I'm just walking back from my shopping. Just want to point out all this uh, filthy asbestos and also it's normal cement fibre as well guys, but there's a mixture of uh, dangerous asbestos here and also cement fibre. So I've actually done a video on this guys, but it's private. So I'm walking up to my house at the moment. So this would have been originally an asbestos fence, what's been blown over in the wind, in a windstorm. And it's all covered in asbestos uh, fibre, guys. So you can see the remains of the old asbestos fence here. Down there. And you know, guys, the reason I'm making this video is because the Shire of Dunbyong always hassle me, guys. Always hassling me, harassing me. And this, this, uh, used to belong to a, uh, this house here used to belong to a, a, a Shire of Dombuyong councillor. I mean a long, long serving councillor, guys. And it was never, ever cleaned up. Happened about 25 years ago, guys. This asbestos has been sitting on this footpath. And the Shire of Dombuyong harassed me, you know. Harassed me by leaving my trailer on the footpath like this, guys. And also my car batteries and other reasons. You know, and what happens guys, people are walking or riding their bikes on this footpath, dogs, me walking, people pushing, women pushing their prams, uh, cars on the, being parked on the road, and uh, all that asbestos gets turned into fine dust guys, and it, people end up breathing it in. And the Shire of Dumbbell harassed me because I've got a few batteries sitting here, guys. You know? And that shit there's been sitting there for probably 30 years. And this residence used to be owned by a local Dumbbell Shire councillor. A long 10 year plus serving Shire of Dumbbell councillor, guys. And it was never cleaned up. Um, it's shameful, fellas. The harassment I get from the Shire of Dumbbell it's been happening for ever since I can remember, guys, for decades, you know, it's never ending, guys and girls, and look at my house, guys, I've got one of the most beautiful house front yards and backyards in Dunbuyong, West Australia, guys, and still I get letters from the shore of Dunbuyong, perfect example, the other day I got told to get rid of my rooster, and I got rid of my rooster, guys, and then about a week later, and still, I'll go out at five o'clock in the morning, I can hear fucking roosters crowing in the background, you know, right next to where the CEO Shire of Dombion lives, you know, roosters basically in his backyard, the bastard. And this Shire of Dombion harassed me and harassed my family. They disrespected my beautiful father's sacred cremated ashes, you know. They disrespect my father's ashes. When my dad died, guys, he got cremated. And uh, I went to pick up my beautiful dad's ashes. And they were in a lousy cardboard box in a plastic bag, guys. I had no clue. I didn't know. I thought that was a normal procedure. And I went to put them in the nippering niche wall. And uh, a year later, I went back out and inspected them. And they were all completely destroyed, eaten by mice. Dad's ashes were uh, mouldy, wet, uh, stuck together like concrete, and uh, so much more, guys. Oh, just my shopping down. And this evil shower of dummy harassed me, you know, and my disrespect my beautiful father, Jack Sherman, who organised every single Anzac Day in Dumbuyong for 40 years. You know, for 40 years, guys, he got Wilson Tucky down, one of the most highly respected politicians in Australia, Wilson Tucky from Andra, and many, many other VIP guest speakers, guys. And my dad also helped many war veterans get their disability pensions recognised, get gold card DVA cards to be recognised for their service in World War II, Korea. Vietnam and everything else guys and the Shire of Dumbion basically pissed on his grave you know did a big shit right on top of my dad's grave 
the Shire of Dumbleyung. And these bastards still harass me every single day, guys. Looks like I say, guys, the Shire of Dumbleyung's on the verge of collapse. All right, bad shit's coming to the Shire of Dumbleyung, guys. And unfortunately, there's not the, the there's a massive freight train coming towards the Shire of Dumbleyung. An out of control freight train. You know, I hate to do this, guys. I've got no choice. Um, I'm not doing this to cause trouble, but there's some shit what's about to come to light to the Shire of Dumbleyung. And the whole Shire of Dumbleyung is going to collapse, guys. And they've only got themselves to blame for what's coming. You know? For what's coming to the Shire of Dumbleyung. It's a fucking out of control freight train, guys. And it's coming at Dumbleyung at a thousand kilometres an hour. And they're not going to know what's going to hit them. You know? So I apologise to uh, what's coming. I've got no choice, guys. So it's uh, what's about to happen is uh, long overdue, guys and girls. And uh, like I say to any Shire of Dumbleyung councillors, the CEO, the deputy CEO, especially the elected Shire councillors, if I was you, I'd be resigning first thing Monday morning. Thanks for watching everyone. And this is my beautiful born and bred hometown. And uh, they pissed on my father's grave. See ya.